ADHD and anger. So when it comes to ADHD, anger is one of the hardest emotions for us to process and work through. The reason is, is anger is going to create the most dopamine and the most conversation in our head. Comment your experience down below. So what happens is something small kind of happens and guess what? We get a little angry about this and the voice in our head starts talking and goes, well, you remember this and you remember when this happened and they should have known better and this should have known better. The, now we start having this internal conversation and this internal dialogue that now gets us even more upset. Now this little thing has become bigger. And now that it's become bigger, this other voice starts to chime in and we start to get this rotation. It starts to create dopamine. It starts to create hyper-focus. It starts to create rage. And a lot of people when it comes to ADHD don't realize and understand why do they fly off the handle? It can be something small. And how this anger builds up, it's almost not immediate. It's like a gradual process where you see somebody getting more and more angry over something so small and you're like, what is going on here? And a lot of times don't even realize what's going on to even try and diffuse it until it gets too much. And this is why I share, I got diagnosed ADD at 13, re-diagnosed ADHD at 17. The biggest thing is to realize that you don't emotionally regulate well. When something does start to really upset me, 48 hours for me to process it through, I have to get it where I'm not emotional, I can't feel myself triggered by it at all in that just the feeling in my chest that I have and I go for a walk I put on my headphones go for a walk listen to music get myself in a grounded state so that it's not overtaking me and then you have the opportunity to actually digest what actually got me upset why it got me upset and is it something I have to go talk to somebody about or do I have to work on internally what is the the right logical way to go and again it's something that I wish I would have known